What's going on guys, it's Drake from Extreme Sports and today we're going to be going over second stage regulators. If you haven't already watched the video about the first stage regulators, I highly recommend it. Um, this is kind of the piece that you want to pair with your first stage regulator. Um, they do make combos between first and second stage regulators, but if you're wanting to piece your, your stages together, watch the first stage video and then come back to this one. Um, when selecting a second stage regulator, you have two main types of regulators. You have a non-adjustable, this is the Scuba Pro R195, it is a basic regulator. Um, it has pre-dive and dive modes, um, it's made out of, you know, this plastic, it's a uh, nylon, is what it is, um, but it's non-adjustable. So you have a non-adjustable regulator, and then you have something like this S560 that is adjustable. So you get a little deeper and you want a little bit more air, you can crack or change the cracking pressure of the, um, the diaphragm that's in there. And um, this will actually let you adjust how hard it, or how easy it is to breathe um, underwater. So you can change these. The reason you want these is for deeper diving. Um, if you're wanting to go anything over 80 feet, something like this um, paired with the MK2, which is unbalanced, um, is actually gonna be a little harder. Um, and you want to be able to adjust it. And then you have um, two more types of regulators. You have some that are made out of metal and then that plastic. So metal regulators, they're a little bit heavier than some of these plastic ones um, and they are a lot more durable. Um, just like these nylon ones, um, these perform fantastic. Um, all these regulators here perform fantastic. Scuba Pro has some of the highest standards uh, on their regulators and they've been making them for a long time. And um, But metal regulators, very, very strong. Um, a little bit heavier, but for that diver that's a little bit harder on stuff, maybe they want that metal. Um, and then you have the inlets. So on some of these, they are brass inlets. Um, they are coated, that's why they're that shiny finish, but they're brass. And you go inside of them, some of them are, have a plastic inside, this tube goes all the way through. Some of them have a plastic inside, some of them have a metal inside. And then you have the S620 Ti, which is titanium. Why would you want titanium? Well, because titanium, very lightweight, very, very strong, and it is non-corrosive. So something like um, this S560, it has um, just a metal inside, but if you're not taking very good of your gear, um, this can actually corrode over time. That's why this one is actually our most popular regulator, just because it is non-corrosive. Very, very lightweight too. It is um, a pretty good second stage regulator to choose. So when you look at all these regulators here, there's a lot going on and it's kind of hard to, to figure out which one because all of these right here, they're all adjustable. This is not adjustable. Um, and there are some regulators that I don't have here. Um, but these are just our, our most popular ones that we have. Um, when you look at like the new D420, you're like, wow, it's very big. Well, it's lightweight um, and it actually has a specific purpose. When your mouth is up here and you're neutrally buoyant, these bubbles want to deflect around you. This is awesome for people wanting to take pictures. Our photographers love this. Um, it has very, very ease of breathing. And actually when you're breathing off of it, the diaphragm sits lower underwater and actually makes it easier to breathe. Um, very, very interesting technology from Scuba Pro, and it has a, been a big hit this year. Um, you come onto the A700, um, stainless finish. When you have that polished inside, you get a crisper feel of air. It's very, very smooth, um, but like I said earlier, it's metal, a little bit heavier, very durable. Um, you have something like the S620 Ti, very, very small diameter. Um, this is awesome for travel and um, very lightweight. This is one of their biggest sellers. Um, it is a part of the S series, which these are all the S series. You can see they look very, very similar. The S600 is one of their best sellers of all time. Um, it's adjustable, same pre-dive dive modes like all these. Um, you know, a metal inside rod, um, but very, very popular between these. It's just kind of figuring out what you know what's right for you. If you want to try out diving first, maybe you want to try out the R195, and then you can upgrade down the road um, and pick out which second stage is for you. The uh, the S600 um, is another popular regulator in the S series. Um, like I said, it's their best-selling air balance second stage 
um, and it is a technopolymer case. All these ones that are this like, you know, everyone calls plastic, but they're technopolymer. Um, very, very strong, very light. Um, but like I said, maybe not for you. Maybe you want something a little bit stronger. But it's just kind of figuring out what first stage you have paired with them. Scuba Pro has offered these combo kits that pair some of these regulars together. Like the D420, most of the time is paired with a Mark 19 or a Mark 25. So you can only get so much out of performance. You don't want to stick, let's say, this S620 Ti high performing. Um, best flowing regulator with these huge exhaust tees, which is awesome. Um, but you don't want to stick this with a Mark II regulator. You won't get the performance out of this regulator like you paid for. Um, so that's why they have those combo kits, and we will have a video as well on combo kits here in the future. Thank you.